Time now to take a look at your full storm tracker forecast and appropriate to have that story on National Puppy Day. Perfect uh, timing for that, Cap. Yeah, you're not kidding. I mean, uh, dogs, pets, rabbits, guinea pigs, somehow they all have a way. Pets make us all feel better. Even when you're having a bad day, right? You look at your pet, you hold your pet, and you feel better. Hey, check out the view. Cheshire Mass, look at that fog over the reservoir and over the mountains, kind of socked in. And that's been the case today in some of the high elevations where there's snow on the ground. This mild air producing low clouds, fog, and a little bit of drizzle. This time of year, everything is coming out, coming back to life. The birds, owls, bluebirds, turkeys. We're seeing more than geese. You see flocks of geese now flying north. Rita Sweener up in uh, Gansvort. Couple of gobblers, male turkeys out in their yard today. Uh, they were strutting around practicing. It won't be long before they'll be chasing the hens around as the temperatures warm up, but that's another sign of spring, right? 56 Albany Hudson. Here's the real mile there. To the north and west, cooler, higher elevations of New England. It was cooler today. Check out some of these temperatures 46 at uh, Indian Lake. Uh, Murky in Queensbury, 44. Whitehall, Bob Weinford, 51. Hebron, a murky, cloudy day, a little bit of wet weather, 45. Off to the west, again, quite a bit cooler out through Caroga Lake. Richard Nielsen, 43. 46 in Gloversville, same thing, mid-40s, Dwaynesburg. Greenfield Center, Jim Glockner, 48. Then you get into the Hudson Valley, look at this, right? 56, Waterford, Tim Beebe and Delmar, 58. You go up on the hill in Grafton, kind of soupy weather, 45, 53 at Bennington, 48 in Adams, mid-40s from Bill Mahone in Lanesboro, 50 in Pittsfield. And again, the Berkshires, a lot of reports of fog in the high elevations. 44 in Summit, mid-40s around Wyndham, mild in Germantown, and mild 56 at Hillsdale. Radar tonight, let's zoom in, and you'll see that we have a pretty good area of showers moving in from the west ahead of this uh, cold front that's going to scoot through. Now the good news is behind this a pretty good push of dry air comes in. So Friday is going to be a nice day. Actually a very normal mid to late March day. This storm, significant, is going to track right at us on Saturday. Now, based on the future cast, the dry air comes in for Friday. See that wet weather staying off to the south of us? Now, let's advance the map to Saturday morning. That's when it will be marginally cold enough for some mixed precip. Highs tomorrow, up near 50, upper 40s in the outlying areas. So we're thinking 8, 9, 10 o'clock, a mix of snow and rain in the valleys, maybe a little bit of sleet. It may stay a mixed bag longer in the high elevations before it changes to rain here. I don't expect much accumulation. High spots may get a couple of inches of slushy snow Saturday morning. Never ends, does it? Showers ending tonight, gradual clearing later tonight, a low near 37. For tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny, seasonable, a high of 51. On Saturday, we're gonna have rain mixed with snow for a while in the valleys, changing to rain. It will last longer in the mountains, 39. Partly sunny, windy on Sunday, near 50. Beautiful Monday, mostly cloudy, 49 Tuesday. There may be a storm threat here. We'll keep you updated. Wednesday, near 50. And Thursday, partly sunny, a high of 48. Lydia? Thank you, Cap.